sure. Huh? All right, we are here with uh, Mr. Danny Beckford. He's president of the St. Anne Football Association. Uh, Mr. Beckford, good day to you, sir. And a good day to you, sir, and your viewers. Wonderful. Please um, tell us what is, what is happening here at Drexel um, yesterday and today. And hopefully tomorrow. Well, it's a all-female clinic, um, and it's 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 organized by some um, I don't say Americans. As uh, a matter of fact, Mia, Mia um, Mitchell, she had represented Jamaica in the last in the can just concluded under 20 girls, and her parents, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Mitchell, has always been um, supportive of women's football. As a matter of fact, I think Mrs. Mitchell is on the board of um, the Reggae Girls Foundation. So they had, um, we have organized along with one Omar Stennett to do the clinic for a couple of months now. So this is the culmination of that exercise. Today, I think we have about 18 girls. You would maybe call the cream of the crop of the girls in this region. So uh, we're going through the paces and so on. So. And the whole ob uh, um, object of this is that when, when the persons are gone, then we continue this, this, this sort of thing. We have been blessed with gear for each girl and uh, medicals would be done to return to school. So all in all, it is a good exercise and it's a good fillip for women's football in this side of Jamaica. And how important is this to the grassroots development of football? Very, very. Not just St. Anica. Everything you know St. Ando, it impacts the whole island. So this is just the start of certain things where we should think we could um, expand, first of all, to the to the outer regions of St. Anne, I know it's one of the biggest parishes, and then maybe some of our, our, our neighboring parishes like St. Mary and St. and Trilani that both have women's football there too. So it, it, are, are there any plans to make this a uh, continual? It's an annual event, but in the meantime this would form the nucleus of, 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 of our women's program, both from the under 13, under 15 and senior programs going forward. And when you say senior, the seniors would have a lot of girls in their teens, which would be good. So they would be gel over time and be a force to reckon with even the competitive side of it. But you know, all of this is geared for the social impact of the girls in this side of the world. And finally, Mr. Beckford, what are the plans? Because with this, girls need active competition as well. Yeah. Outside of the school girl competition, are there any plans? Um, to restart uh, female football at the local level in Jamaica outside of in the school. As I said, this is the the, the, the GFA presently planning to start the the the, 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 um, the women's major league. Uh, we have gotten entry forms and so we have not yet um, make the decision to enter that competition because there's a lot of things going on behind the scenes but as I say right now this is the start of certain things so once we have this going it would be akin to when there's a competition to enter because we would have most if not all things going for us training wise and otherwise in terms of that but as I say we're looking forward to the to the women's um, major league so if, if, if that comes on fruition and some of the resources that was has been left by FIFA over a year now to put into the women's football. If some of that can be secured, then you know we will enter that competition. Uh, Mr. Bradford, I want to thank you so much and also for accommodating the Mitchells and the Johnsons in hosting this camp at Draxall. Looking forward to more greater years. Yes, and, and, and it should be an annual event, bigger and better as the years go by. All right, thanks again. And thank you.